We have two nominees this year for the HALO Award for Assuming Positive Intent. And I nominated Charlie S. Leeson for the HALO Award because he is just a positive influence. He walks into each and every meeting, every classroom, every day with a positive attitude. I think the reason why I'm able to assume positive intent with my students is because of the fact that I was not an easy child myself. So understanding who they are and getting to know them as an individual just allows me to see a struggle, whether it's academically or socially or emotionally and understand that something that you could have done better doesn't mean that you are defined by that. And then every day just like restarting with that mentality has allowed me to see them grow. I nominated Katie because she's a saint among us. She is the living embodiment of being Christ to those she comes in contact with. I've had the privilege to work with Katie Worm here at St. Hubert Little Saints Preschool. Katie always gives people the benefit of the doubt when handling all situations, no matter if it's a parent, staff member, or a kiddo. I feel that every day everybody needs to have a clean start. Being children of God, we all know that we need to help one another, love one another, and care for one another. Whether you had a bad morning, a bad afternoon, every day, you can start fresh. Charlie lives out that positive intent by really, truly assuming no ill will to anyone. He wants them to succeed no matter what, and he will do whatever he can, whether it's a parent, a scholar, a staff member, a friend. Katie really embodies the charism of assuming positive intent. She is a role model for these kids. The charism that she displays will be something that these kids carry with them when they move on into our K-8 space. Every day our students get to come in and work with people like Miss Katie and all of their other teachers who show them the importance and the value of a faith-centered life. And to see that modeled by our teachers can only help but foster that love and that desire that students have to say, I want a little bit more of that. And there must be good reason for that. And so that's what starts our littlest learners on their journey of faith. It starts them on their journey towards a life of service lived for others.